Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we will be talking about sum of arithmetic series. That is the topic. And we will be also uh, talking about formula for arithmetic progression sum and these two given problems. So let's talk about sum of arithmetic sequence. So we'll be talking about the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence which is denoted by s of n. s stands for sum. Sum means add. And this sum of arithmetic sequence is also called arithmetic series. Always remember whenever we are talking about the sum we will be talking about arithmetic series. And here let's start off with S of n means sum of the first n terms. And this A sub 1 means the first term plus the second term plus all the way to nth term. Then the sum formula, this is the formula S of n equals to n over 2 means number of terms divided by 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. a sub 1 means the very first term and a sub n means the very last term. So this is the formula we will be using a lot. And this formula could also be written as sum equals to n over 2 times the first term, first means first term plus the last term. And we also note that the arithmetic progression formula is a sub n equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Let's wherever you we see over here in this formula a sub n I'm going to replace a sub n by whatever this quantity is here. So this s of n could be written as s of n equals to n over 2 times I'm going to leave this a sub 1 right up here plus so this one is a sub n I'm going to replace it by this whole quantity I'm going to be using a different marker or different color so I'm going to put down a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d okay so i just use the different color let's simplify this thing that is going to be n over 2 times see this a1 and a1 these are same thing so i'm going to put it together okay so this become 2 a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times D. So thus no wonder this sum formula could also be written as in this shape as I have shown you right up here. So we will be using these formulas extensively in our course of study. And here is our very first question we will be talking about what is the sum of this finite arithmetic sequence 7, 10, 13, 16, 19 and 22. As you can see in this arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression 7 is our very first term and 22 is our last term and we can also count easily the number of terms 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we know n equal to 6 the number of terms in this sequence so now we're going to be applying this formula sum is always equal to n over 2 times first term plus the last term so in our case sum of this given uh, arithmetic progression is going to be n over 2 in our case n is 6 divided by 2 times our first term is 7 
plus last term over here is 22. Let's simplify. So that's going to give us 3 times 29. That is going to give us 87. So thus the sum of our arithmetic sequence turns out to be 87 and that is our answer. And here is our next question. It states how many terms are in this arithmetic progression 2, 5, 8, 11 and goes all the way to 38. Once again let's look at the very first term. 2 is our very first term and 38 is our last term and this time we are going to find n the number of terms we don't know and one more thing just keep in your mind over here the common difference between any two consecutive term is positive 3 isn't it if you add 3 you're going to get the next term that means our common difference d equals to 3 and now to find the number of terms we will be using this formula n equals to the last term minus the first term divided by the common difference d and then add 1 to it so let's do this thing so we want to find n equals to our last term in our case is 38 minus the first term in our case is 2 divided by our common difference d we know it is 3 and then we're going to just simply add 1 to it so let's simplify that one and that's going to give us so n equals 2 on the top is going to be 38 take away 2 is 36 divided by 3 and then plus 1 at the end so 3 goes into 36 to 12 times and then add 1 so n terms are turns out to be 13 so thus we have 13 terms in our this given arithmetic progression and that's pretty much it thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye